uh, I forgot to press the record button. Hey guys, alright, so this is the Gundam RB79 Ball by Lagobris Orifice. We've got some hydrogen thrusters, and up here we have a cannon, an assault cannon with the camera and an ore detector. And obviously, the most prominent feature of the thing here are the grabby arms. And it's like, you know, one of those quirky things on the workshop. So the single assault cannon up there, well, it's not gonna be very useful in actual combat, but you know, this is one of those things that were made to be accurate to the actual thing that is trying to replicate. So combat effectiveness is obviously not a priority. The ship does have some small hydrogen tanks. So for the purpose of what this ship is supposed to do, that is fine, but you probably won't be able to fly for too long on the ship. But uh huh, the main reason for the ship's existence, as you guys can see here, is actually pretty effective in doing its job. So at first, I thought this was, you know, these hands here, or these arms were on subgrids, but these are actually static rigid arms, which is actually a good thing for the purpose of this thing. Because, well, if you use subgrids like on a hinge or rotors, you will limit the weight of the things that this thing can carry. I mean, it still kind of does, but you know, it's less limited compared to if you use subgrids for the arms. Oh, the thing costs 4516 PCU, by the way. Let's see here. Can I do this? Oof. Kind of hard to, to fit it in there. Hold on. Oops. Uh, can I? Well, I guess having the gun up there kind of makes it a little bit harder. Uh, maybe I should let it go first. And then I grab it from another angle. There we go. Uh, get in. <laughs> oh, this isn't going so well. <laughs> well, you know, close enough. Hmm, let's see how well it deals with crisis though. Alright, so let's say that I wasn't looking and I hit something on the side of the ship. Let's see how much it will get damage. Huh. That's surprisingly sturdy. Let's see what happens if we go faster. Like, if I... Oof. There goes one of the arms. Hmm. I guess having two arms is kind of useful. So if you lose one arm, you can still have the ship's main functionality. Let me grab my arm back here. Whoops. Heh. Huh, what's that thing over there? There's some LCD panels. Is that a programmable block there? Interesting. But yeah, well, I just want to check this thing out because it's one of those quirky things on the workshop. Obviously, it's not designed to be the most practical and efficient thing ever. Like, I tried earlier and this thing couldn't fly on planet's gravity. But you know, it does the job that it's meant to do quite well and it's got a reasonable amount of protection for what it is. And if you're bored, you can shoot stuff with it, so, you know, it's not gonna be super effective. I do like the aesthetic of the thing though, it's pretty interesting. So yeah, that's the Gundam RB79 Ball by Lagobris Orifice. You guys can find the link in the description below. Let's try to ram my ship. Well, uh, that was underwhelming. Yeah. <laughs>